What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. His name's Shinji. And today, in action figure news, we've had a crap ton of these. I don't know when this is going to go because this will be a fairly quick video. Disgusting. You're supposed to be laying down. That does not mean you can come over and lick me. He's like, why don't you have ah. exposed skin? You can't can touch I have your beard? I just, just, can I have your beard? No, you Pinkies? can't. Peace? No. Can I have that? Don't touch Gabriel. But I want it. No. I want it. No. Peace? No. Please. No. Look at my poor dumps. Oh, I'm adorable. There's a claw trying to nip at everything. Thank you. He does seem to have a nipping issue, doesn't he? He likes to nip. He doesn't really bite usually. No, it's just. He's a mouse. He's very mouthy. You're very mouthy. All right, so we made this short video a little bit longer. You guys are welcome. <laughs> but if you guys didn't know already, that's why we're making this video. But Bandai America is giving up the rights to their Power Ranger line. Bye bye. And, and it's going to be going to Hasbro. And it's all girls' fault because the girl Power Rangers weren't selling good. That's the stupidest thing. I can understand them releasing waves and maybe making the, the female figures a little bit more scarce. Yeah. Like maybe like two of each of the guys and like one of each of the girls in a case or something. But when they go, oh, the female figures aren't selling as well, so we're just not going to release the other ones until the other ones sell. Really? That's how you kill a line pretty quick. And that's how they killed it. That's how they uh, rights went bye-bye. Yeah, it's just like at the, at this point, there's like anything that they're putting out right now, no reason to pick it up. Yeah, absolutely no reason because stuff's already hard to find, and with that whole issue coming out too, just why would you buy half of the line because you know the other half won't come out? Yeah, at least make it more available online. Like like uh, it's, there's stuff so hard to find in like any kind of store. So. I pretty much give it up on it. Like, I got, like, my Zeo Gold Ranger, which has, like, weird paint issues, too. And I'm just not even going to worry about trying to get the rest of them, I guess. But the SH, right? But uh, if the one video came out already, I'm not sure how these orders are going to go. But uh, we're getting some reissues of the SH Figure Arts ones. So Bandai still keeping the rights to Sentai and, like, Bandai Japan. But the stateside rights are being liquidated by them and it's going to Hasbro which is pretty cool because I think Hasbro would be do a good job because they're already doing like the Marvel Legend figures and stuff so yeah. I think it ties in very nicely because that's kind of like what they were replicating anyways with the Legacy Ranger figures but I hope that they go away from combining to make Zords I'd much rather them combine to make villains it would be different though because we already have enough of those yeah, we it's need like more of these. Yeah, well, it's like you buy all five Rangers and they make like a Rita or like a Lord Zed or even some of the more oddball characters or even villains or just some of the monsters they fought. But you know what's it going to be, right? You're going to get like with this guy, you get the left arm of the robot, this guy, you get the right arm of the robot. and Yeah, or even just weapons. Because for the most part, that's kind of like what the Marvel Legends series is doing, anyways. Uh, but the, usually they would combine to make, like, one of the larger bad guys or something. Or just larger character in general. So it would be cool if they kind of kept up that instead of giving us Zords. Also, make sure if you're going to release the figures, give us the weapons. Because that was literally the stupidest thing also Bandai did. There's was no not weapon. giving us the power weapons. That's like and half of the Rangers. Them. Yeah, but then that re when they reissued them, they're not going to be reissuing, like, the pink and yellow Ranger are the but now it's, it's going to be impossible to find, so why bother buying them? You're not going to be able to finish the set. Stupid. Stupid. So, Hasbro, if you're watching this, make sure when you're making Rangers, make sure they come with their weapons, and I don't want to see any more Zords coming out of the combining figures. I want villains. Well, it's just, like, exactly, because, like, it's cool that they were making Zords, but I don't want the Zords to stand with my figures. I want to be able to, like, buy all the figures and they can make somebody to fight. Like, the Rangers combined to make something that goes with the rangers the zords don't really go with the rangers that's not true they could be fighting a zord you don't know exactly but what they could do is because they already do like transformers and stuff anyways they're already kind of the same giant robot wheelhouse anyways to be able to do zords so i feel like they would already be a great fit and then they could kind of tie in power rangers to their transformers line it would be close enough and what I would like to see 
is them just make straight up Zord figures. Because personally, I like the idea that breaking apart, combining it together, that's cool and all. But as a collector, I don't really play with them. So they were just like one shot, decent sized ring Megazords that didn't combine. And maybe like when they transformed, they just did like the other modes. That would be cool. It would be different. Plus, I'm sure they're going to be making more uh, kid-oriented ranger toys, too. So, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, again, pretty much, like, Bandai America stuff until the end of the year, I'm pretty much done with trying to get a hold of it all. Uh, hopefully, I can get a hold of the Power Rangers, the Red Ranger sword goes on clearance somewhere. So I can get a hold Good of luck it. with that. Yeah, that's the only thing I, like, I didn't buy that I'm kind of regretting. Especially since, like, Hasbro's not going to probably make any of the power weapons and stuff, so I doubt it. So I do feel like Hasbro's a good fit, but I'm probably going to be most, uh, until I see what they're going to be doing, mostly I'll probably just try to go back and pick up the figure arts ones. If. As long as, I, since I reissue them, I'll pick them up. I'm not going to pay, like, the $200 the Pink Ranger goes for and stuff like that. I'll just <laughs> wait to see <clears throat> if I can get a little. Steve, how's that Pink Ranger I bought you for birthday? Yeah, I maybe have sold that when it was on 20. I got 120 for mine. <clears throat> you said it was okay. <laughs> You're a boss. I asked before I sold it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, there's no like new announced toys or anything. It's just literally just news of the rights. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited about new Hasbro Power Ranger figures? Let us know in the comment section below. Or if there's another company you think would have been a better suit for the rights. I don't know. I feel like Hasbro is pretty good. Yeah, it was like Hasbro was the one that kept popping into my head. Uh, maybe Mattel would have been the other one, but maybe not. Like they don't do robot stuff, so I don't know how well that would have went. Playmates, Playmates could have done it. <laughs> they do Voltron. God, those Rangers would have been ugly though. <laughs> The Zords might have been cool. Rangers have been ugly. And I was defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, come Ranger Day. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye.